Hello everyone, welcome to ProMind's AutoCAD Tips and Tricks. This week we'll be going over a couple more array functions. So we'll be going over the rectangular array function, which is just your standard array. And we'll also be going over the array path uh, command. So both of these functions are useful when you're creating multiple copies of an object. So see here we have a polyline. It could be the center line for a ramp, for example and say we want to draw circles at specific distances all along this ramp. Uh, we can make them represent anything we want. So I've just drawn a small circle here and then using the array path function you select your first object, press enter and then select your path curve. Uh, as you can see here it created somewhat of a weird shape because it's uh, offsetting from the path that we selected. So what we'll do here is we'll select the base point and say we want this to be the base point so it will make that point the first point that it goes along the path um, and then it'll just align it with the path that you have now you can change the distance between each of these um, circles along the path and um, this is this can be used also for like uh, surveying so if you're surveying and you, on equal distances you you want to specify a certain um, annotation for an object, you could use this array path function. The next thing I'm going to go to is uh, doing the rectangular array. Uh, this can be useful for making blocks. So starting off, we'll just use the box command. Just make it 6.5 by 8. And for the height, we'll go to a 7. So here, I'll just rotate so you guys can see the box we just created and then just use the array command not array path or array polar select your box press enter select rectangular and as you can see here the standard is that it will create uh, four rows and three columns I mean depending on your perspective on it and then if you look at the bottom you can select how many columns you want to have how many rows and how many levels so if we add um, change the columns from 4 to 6 and then change our distance between them to 15 so we'll space them out a bit more for rows we'll change it from 3 to 4 and then for distance we'll make it 8.5 and then finally no we just made it 6.5 that's okay and then for elevation we'll stack them by 2 and finally for levels we'll create 3 levels and there you go, we'll just make the distance a bit more here so you can see them all if you just rotate here and that's pretty much the wrap up for um, last week we did polar arrays, this week we did rectangular and array path and uh, if you guys have any other suggestions for another topic or if you have any comments please send them to us through the links at the bottom of the video thanks a lot for watching